We're going to continue our lesson on the Holocaust by talking about some famous heroes and victims that came out of the Holocaust. Um, you might have heard of some of them. You might not have heard of some of them. These are three of the big ones. We have, of course, Anne Frank. You've probably heard of her very famous diary that she wrote while in hiding in Amsterdam. She and her family, along with the Van Pels family and one other gentleman, were eventually caught and sent to uh, like a temporary concentration camp before they were split up and sent to various concentration camps um, such as Auschwitz. They all survived the initial selection. Some were sent you know, some Jews were sent to the gas chambers immediately and others were kept to work. They all survived that selection, but then did eventually die. Um, the only one to survive was her father and he returned to Amsterdam and returned to the secret annex where they were hiding and found her diary named Kitty um, with the help of Meep Gies and another gentleman who had hidden the family and the diary is eventually published and it is the most read text in the world behind the Bible. We also have in the middle Oscar Schindler. He, um, famous for Schindler's List, he saved thousands of Jews by having them work in his camp. And it is, sorry, in his factory. And they would work for him and that would keep them alive. And he eventually saved thousands. And he passed away about 15, 20 years ago. And he is buried in Jerusalem, in Israel. And finally we have Elie Wiesel. Elie is a Nobel Prize winning author who wrote the book Night about his experience in the Holocaust and he's actually shown in one of the pictures I showed previously on this presentation. So he is in one of the most famous pictures from the Holocaust that was taken at Liberation. As we move on, we are going to watch another YouTube video. I think you guys are going to like this one a little bit more. It is a rap about the Holocaust.
Alright, what did you guys think of that? I just thought it was something interesting, something different than what you're used to. Now we're going to do a little bit of a review. We are going to, as you can see, there's a phrase written up here on the board, and raise your hand if you would like to come up and circle the correct answer, either Jews were the only ones killed, or Jews weren't the only ones killed. Now, I might recommend that you write down the answers, because this is something that can come up again on the test. So we're going to use the pen, which isn't coming up, and we're going to circle the correct answer in just one moment. Let's see if it is coming up now. Here we go, here's our pen. All right. So the correct answer is actually not this. The correct answer is Jews weren't the only ones killed. Does anybody want to remind us of some of the other victims of the Holocaust? Alright, so we have Soviet prisoners of wars, um, political enemies, Catholics, Jehovah's Witnesses, homosexuals, and the disabled, along with gypsies. So there are plenty of right answers for that one. Alright, now, who wants to answer this one? Adolf Hitler was the leader of the what party? And the correct answer is the Nazi party. The Communist Party was there. It was just in more in Eastern Europe in countries like Russia. Alright, what were the name of the camps that were used for the mass murder? The correct answer is concentration camps or even death camps. Now, some of the big ones were Auschwitz, Treblinka, Sobibor. There's just a few, some of the bigger ones, um, along with the smaller ones. I'm not going to ask you, you know, what was the name of one of the camps in Italy. Nobody really remembers the camps in Italy. Most people don't know that there were camps in Italy. Just something else to keep in mind, some of the bigger camps. Jews wore what to identify themselves as being Jewish? The correct answer is the Star of David. And they would either have like a little patch type of thing, they would wear um, on their clothes or an armband like what you saw in the video. The Holocaust was a what type of execution? Right. It was an organized execution of millions. Remember, and it wasn't just Jews. Just keep remembering that. And where were the camps? They were all across Europe. All across Europe. And remember that one. And where were they forced to live, some of these, some of the Jewish people? The answer is ghettos. They were forced to live in the ghettos, and that is what they were called, although. The Germans didn't like to call them that because that made it sound bad. What were done with the dead bodies? They were burned. They didn't want to be left out. They didn't want to leave a lot of evidence as to what they were doing. And what were used to transport the Jews? They mentioned this once. Who was paying attention to this one? They were transported in cattle cars. Remember, 
A hundred people or more could be fit into one car. So imagine how many people could be transported. All right, we're going to go into some polls. Like before, you know, I would recommend writing down the answers. You know, might come up again. I'm not going to force you. That's up to you. Okay, so text it in. I'll show you once again how to do it. All right, let's see. This will work. So everybody text in your answers. Take a minute. Write it down. There we go. We got some answers coming in. And the correct answer is all of the above. So keep that in mind. All of these people were killed in the Holocaust. Alright. Some famous people who came out of the Holocaust. Let's see. Do we have some answers? I'm sending mine in. What do we have? We have Anne Frank. All right. All of these people were famous people to come out of the Holocaust. Keep that in mind as well. All right. Why is it important to remember the Holocaust? In that video we watched in the beginning of the lesson, it, somebody said the Holocaust is over. We don't need to learn about the 18th century. Do you agree with this? Yes? No? Explain yourself. You just can't say, yeah, I agree with that. Write it down. Write out why in details. You know, this doesn't have to be a big, long essay. We're going to discuss it. And remember, as all class discussions, I am simply here to make sure that, you know, comments are polite. And, you know, you can disagree with your neighbor, but say why. And don't be rude about it. If you think your comment might be rude, you know, wave me down. I'll come tell me. I'll tell you how you can reword it if it is a little bit rude if it is a little bit inappropriate or if you should just keep it to yourself take notes during the discussion you never know when a question like this is going to come up again you know hint hint we have a test coming up could be on the test 